I, I thought our guys really responded the second half. Um, you know, the first half, you know, you know, we, we had, uh, they had 11 points off our nine turnovers. Um, we talked about how the team is, how good they were offensively, what we needed to do to combat that. We did a poor job, uh, in the first half. They also got 12 second chance points, which they are not, um, a great re rebounding team. Uh, and we gave up eight threes. Uh, that's why you're, you're down six and you give up 46 points and a half. But uh, to our guys' credit, you know, we, we got ourselves together at halftime, came out, followed the game plan and scouting report much better uh, with much more detail, and you give up 28 points. Um, and that's how we're, we're going to have to win. You know, we're not, we're not going to outscore people. Like, we didn't play great offense. We got 92 points. That's not who, it's not really who we are. But we did a much better job of attacking and having patience in the second half, but this was a defensive win for us in the difference of the halves. Coach, just kind of all season, it seems like those are that's what's going on. Like you have struggled a bit in the first half and then made that adjustment in the second half. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's, if it's all season. I mean, it's, what are we six games in? I mean, that's hard to play thirty some of these things now. You know, so um, we, we've got a, a bunch of new guys, right? Um, that is learning the coaching staff, coaching staff learning players, and we also have a lot of inexperienced guys. Yeah. And I just told the TV, like, and I talked to these guys about it. I saw uh, a press conference with Matt Painters, and I believe Matt Painters is one of the best in our business. Um, I don't want guys like uh, Zane Dowdy. I don't want guys like Joey Brown. I don't want guys that aren't playing, that are freshmen in this program, happy about not playing. I don't want that. Um, but I want them to be great teammates. I want them to learn and grow. Um, and those inexperienced guys are simply learning how important practice is. Like, you know, like the whole, like they, they can show up in high school and they're the best player. Like it's not that important. But the preparation, the detail in the preparation, and then just the effort and practice to continue to grow um, is hugely important. And if you have the wrong approach and the wrong attitude, then when you get those opportunities and you get thrown in the heat of the battle, you don't perform well. Okay? But if you just focus on the work and, and you continue to improve and you've got great attitude, I'm not asking you to like it. I'm asking you to help us win. And then when you get those opportunities, you play well. You know, I told him the story about Peyton Watson when I was at UCLA. The, the guy averaged like six points a game. He's the first round draft pick. Right? But he cut out all the noise. He didn't worry about what his mom and dad were saying or the people around him were saying. He was just in the gym every day. And he attacked practice every day. All right? He wasn't good enough to play on that team as a freshman, regardless of McDonald's All-American or not. And by the end of the year, he made some real contributions to a Sweet 16 team. He's a first-round draft pick, and he's making a bunch of money playing now for the, for the Nuggets. But he didn't get caught up in all that. He didn't like it, but he just worked. And he, and he paid attention, and he prepared. Um, and you know that's the credit to them, and that's what our young guys have to, have to learn. So you feel like in that regard, the team has done a good job this year of making the adjustments that you're asking them to make? Yeah, I mean, I think you go from giving up 46 to 28. Right. I mean, I didn't get these stops. These guys did it, you know. And um, just their attention to detail and what we, how we wanted to attack them and how we wanted to defend them was much better in the second half. you got to give these guys that credit. Yeah. Um, just for both of you guys, how do you go about, like, making those conscious adjustments that coach is asking you to, whether it's at halftime or between two games, whatever that may be? Uh, first, I want to say thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And... It's all about paying attention. Um, he wants to win. We want to win. So we trust him. Um, he watches film. He knows what they're going to do. So all we have to do is just listen to him. Um, just going out there, just being conscious of the details, because that's what wins games. Um, and yeah, just wanting to win is the reason why I listen to him. For sure. Well, we got a smart enough basketball player as well. I mean, first off, we got to do a better job of listening to our coaching staff. I mean, they put the time in to dig out the film and put a good report for us together so we got to be better paying attention to start the game. But, you know, when it's going on, you see the stuff they're talking about and, you know, it's programming you to know what to do and how to respond. So they do a good job of getting us prepared. Yeah. Like, like we, had some, we had some young guys and some veteran guys. They didn't, they didn't believe uh, Joe French and Lionel Martin were going to shoot it from the logo. Right? It, didn't, it didn't register when they saw it on the clip tapes. So, you know, like, I got to see it, I got to feel it. Look, man. I guess that stuff is real. Like, and they, and they pulled up, and then they look over at you like, what? <laughs> you know, we don't, you know, we didn't, we didn't, we don't just make this stuff up, you know. And, and that's just uh, part of some, some young guys 
um, learning, uh, attention to detail and, and reports, and some older guys in different roles um, becoming better leaders. Okay. Um, this year, I believe it was your first career double-double at the collegiate level today. Are you just kind of getting more comfortable as the season goes on and your more inside role? Definitely. I mean, it's obviously something I'm capable of doing. I just have to do a better job of, you know, staying on balance, being stronger, and, uh, you know, playing well on with force. So, you know, just continuing to improve, you know, put the time in and get better. Yeah. Jalen, um, mm -hmm. I guess today you had almost a double-double yourself. Um, how have you been approaching your role as one of the main, I guess, facilitators of the offense? Mm -hmm. Just being a leader, um, just trying to make the right play every time. Um, I had three turnovers, three stupid turnovers that um, I could easily take away. Um, two, 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 two stupid turnovers. Yeah, um, that I could easily take away. Don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> that I could easily take away. So um, just trying to make the right play each and every time for my teammates, or that's for myself. For sure. Yeah, coach, going off that uh, season high in assists today. Seems like that's been trending up recently. What do you think of the team's passing on all? It helps when you pass the basketball, you know. And then I still thought we had too many, um, you know, first one pass shots, you know. And it, it's that fine line of hey, I'm open, and, and what's best for our team. And they, you know, <clears throat> Pine Bluff is a team that I think they were giving up 65 or 66 uh, percent from two point field goals. Right? Well, let's not rifle up the first three that we get. You know, let's let's make them move, guard multiple sides of the floor, guard multiple actions, uh, and try to play inside out. Um, and once we settled into that, we performed much better. Did you like the threes you got, though, also a season high and you made threes? Yeah, well, they're inside out. Yeah. You know, it, it's not coming off a ball screen with no pass and just, you know, step back three because they went under a ball screen. Um, it's just not the one pass, you know, jack it up because we're open. You know, it's the, the my turn, my I'm open shot. Like, let's get the best shot for Ball State <laughs> on each possession. I thought we did a much better job in the second half. Last one for me. Um, Trent did some good things off the bench. Um, you know, what kind of player do you feel like he's uh, showcased so far and has he earned some of your trust as that backup guard? Yeah, he's, he's, get, he's improving. But, you know, he's like one of these young guys. Like, he got thrown into it. He played 20 minutes today because Davion went down. Um, and those are things where if you don't prepare the right way, and I'm not sure he could perform like this two weeks ago, right? But he's, he's gotten better in the last two weeks just with his mindset um, and how he approaches practice. Um, and that's why he performed well. Now, he still made some silly mistakes out there, but um, he, he's getting better. And I think that's just another, another example, uh, you know, of these guys, you know, growing as players. Uh, just one thing, Coach. During the offseason, you talked about wanting this team to play a little bit faster, but it seems on a lot of the fast breaks, you've kind of had your team kind of calm down, collect themselves. These guys had 46 points at half. Okay. We had nine turnovers at half. Like, you want to play faster, let's not turn the ball over. And I want you to play as fast as you want. Um, but when you turn the ball over and take rush shots against a defense that I know we can break down in the half court yeah. when we work, um, I'm trying to win the game. If I if I lied to you in the summer, then I lied to you in the summer. I'm trying to win the game. Um, and we'll play as fast as we can play um, within not, you know, doing things that are going to lead to losing. So, um, you know, and tonight was one of those games kind of like Pine Bluff. Like, I don't I don't want to get running. I don't want that to turn into an AAU game. Right? So, you know, we had to play a certain way, and obviously we did it because playing fast, like, you know, we didn't. We scored 92 points not playing fast. That's pretty good. All right, thanks, everyone.